Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. In today's video, I want to kind of respond to a video I just did the other day where I asked you guys if you had any questions starting the year off, whether it's Robotics Class or First Lego League. And I got a response, and I'm going to share that response with you or question. And then I responded and basically thought, hey, why not just make that a video for everybody to see? And so it's concerning First Lego League, and let me read it to you. I would like for you to share some tips to help us get started on our innovative project, First Lego, First Lego Leaguers. I always find that, that this is the most difficult part of the First Lego League competition for my team. Thank you. And I would totally agree. That's the number one question I get here on my channel is the innovative project. And it's tough because it's not as cut and dry as the robot game where you have this laser focus, we want these points, this is our mission. Even though that can you know, be a million different combinations of missions, with the innovative project, now you can go in one billion different directions with what your project is. And let me go ahead and just read to you what I responded with. Um, so I'm going to leave you guys the link to the Masterpiece 2023-2024 First Lego League Challenge where the PDF talks about the innovative project. You have to read that. You can't just, you know, wing it. You can't just go, well, this is what I think. You actually have to read where they're directing you and, you know, let your project follow their questions. Um, if not, it's going to be a total bust. Um, I believe our first year, we didn't really do that well. And then we started to get better and dissect what they're asking in the Innovator Project. And we were hitting the target a lot better than just thinking, huh, let me think here. And then, you know, having it come off the top of our heads, we had to read the actual direction. So here we go. I read through page three. So if you guys hit the link, go to page three. And here are some things that kind of jumped out at me. I said, number one, hobbies and interests are the focus of the project. Hobbies and interests. Um, number two, sharing your interests with others is a goal. So they're asking you, how do you take your interest and share it with others? Now you might think, well, what do you mean? Like, you know, talk about it? And that can mean a million different things. Sharing it can mean hey come here I have something to share with you watch what I do or you could communicate um, you know just verbally talking about sharing it so don't limit yourself to just talking about it or writing about it it could be showing somebody so you could do this non-verbally okay number three Thinking of a creative way you could teach people about what you love to do is the action plan. So they want you to share with others your hobby or your interest and getting them to just know about what you love to do, okay? And so here's what I wrote to this person about some tips. Don't stray away from your hobby or interest. If you love collecting Pokemon cards, you need to go with that. Um, don't make something up just because you think, oh, the judges might like this better. Stick with what you know. It will be better and you won't have to do all this research on something that you don't know. Um, I put, choose something that you and your team love as a hobby. So together, collectively decide as a team, hey, we all love this or, you know, come to some kind of consensus on what you all can agree some love it, some like it, let's choose it, okay? And then I said, figure out how you and your team could share that hobby with more people. So the problem is how to get more people to know about your hobby or interest. And so when you're thinking about this problem that you're gonna try to solve, here is what I told them to do is don't make your focus too big. Don't try to share this with the entire world. That's when it's going to start to get foggy and unfocused. See if you can start out here and start to narrow down your person group. So, you know, start with the world and go, well, telling the whole world about it might be not so easy. Let's focus on 
people in Africa, um, you know, let's start with kids, you know, find, start to narrow down your focus groups so you can get more detailed. If you are this wide with your focus, now you're going to have all of these questions to have to answer. But if you can narrow it down to kids, kids in Africa, or, you know, that way you can just narrow and laser focus in instead of having all of these other ideas. And so I put, think of the barriers that hinder this right now. So what is hindering you from sharing this with other people and figure out what your solution would be? So I put worldwide, the barrier could be language. If you're gonna teach somebody in Japan how to do something, you're gonna have a language issue. Um, the, another barrier could be economics. Uh, some countries might not have as much money as yours does and make it harder to share. It could be technology. Some countries might not have the technology to see what you're doing. Um, it could be handicap. Um, I want to do something, but I don't have a left arm. I don't have, I can't, I, I'm, I'm paralyzed. I can't use my legs. Um, it could be sickness um, or just access to the materials. And so one possible project, I'm not shouting this on the mountaintops, I'm just showing this as a possibility. So let's say somebody is handicapped. One possible project could be a person in a wheelchair that wants to skateboard. I know a lot of people that love to skateboard. How do you share your love of skateboarding with somebody who's in a wheelchair? who has some type, type of, um, you know, some kind of handicap where they can't do everything that you can do. And so how can you help this person out? Okay, so you're thinking about all of these things, like I love skateboarding, I wanna share it with the world. Hey, how can I share it with somebody who doesn't have the same, you know, access as I do to that passion that you have, okay? And so as you start to ask yourself all these questions, you'll start to narrow it down. And then definitely they want you to share this with experts. So definitely if you're gonna do this project, share it with skateboarding experts, share it with you know, somebody who's in a wheelchair that cannot skateboard and go, what do you think about this? And so you're gonna tap into all of those experts and then fine tune your project and so you'll, you'll be able to answer a lot of questions the judges have, like cost. Try to have a prototype if you can to show the judges, hey, this is our prototype. It costs $5 to make, $20 to make, um, and be able to you know, answer all the questions you have about logistics, because they want this to be a real thing. They want you to be able to say, go out and do it. You know, Be an inventor, create this, share it, do it. Okay. All right, guys. So hopefully that was helpful in your first Lego League project for this year's masterpiece. And hopefully you can laser focus in and help your team win. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Missiles Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.